I'm here. Hey guys, Broken Prophet here. I know y'all did not expect, why do I have my tongs? I'm, 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 I'm about to tease what I'm gonna talk about. But anyway, now let me put my tongs down. My broken tongs, cause they broke. I'm like, oh Lord have mercy. You know, whenever, you know, it's hard doing right in a world full of wrong. But anyway, I digress. How y'all doing? I know y'all didn't expect to hear from me this quickly. After I did a video last night, y'all like, wow. Prophet, you know, you don't got to the point where we don't, you know, hear from you for like doggone uh, uh, weeks and months at end. Well, you know, I apologize. I'm, I'm about to do better. But, you know, the spirit led me on this Sunday evening to come here and talk to you guys. Wait, hold on. It's hard to teach when you parched. And I, I don't have my little audio doodad set up right yet. So I'm going to try to speak up. Try to speak over socks. But, you know, I've talked to a bunch of you guys um, just today. And late last night after the video, and you guys, you know, you tell me about your problems. You tell me about your issues. You ask about work and things like that. And one thing that I've always said, listen, I'm not going to BS you guys. I'm not going to try to sell you something that you don't need. I'm not going to try to offer you something that you may not even want. I'm not a salesman. I'm a spiritual worker. I'm a root doctor. I try to help you with what's going on in your life through hoodoo, root work, conjure, conjuration, and if necessary, follow my own way. And, you know, I want to talk to you guys about some things that I'm finding well, one thing that I'm finding to be a common theme. Y'all like my fire? Y'all like my fire back there? Like my little Charlie Brown tree and my um, Christmas stockings? I lo I'm the king of Christmas. I love, I love me some Christmas. But I want to talk to you guys about um, one thing that I feel that has poisoned the souls of men and women nowadays. And that is the fact that society has kind of trained into us the inability to get over things, to get past things, to just, you know, to make a long story short, just let stuff go. You know, some of you guys, y'all come to me and you're like, well, you know, you know, this one broke up with me or this relationship failed. And I'm like, well, why can't you just let it go? And y'all always say the same thing. Y'all always say, well, prophet, I just can't. I just can't. And I'm like, well, why? Why can't you just walk away? Now, I understand if there's a financial reason, if y'all are together and y'all have properties and businesses and stuff like that, well, it's hard to just walk away from that. But if you're just dating somebody and you got hurt feelings, then you should be able to just walk away. You should. But it's not that easy. Should being able to do something doesn't equal to can be, you know, I can be able to do something. And I understand that. I do. So this video, I want to give you guys a working to allow you to let go of the past. The past is a lot of times is our biggest hindrance on our present and on our future. We spend a lot of time, so much time focusing on the past that we're not paying attention to the, to the present and our future is cloudy. We have got to learn, guys, to focus on what we have in front of us and where we're heading. Because I'm one of the best there is at what I do as far as hoodoo. I'm the hoodoo king of Georgia. But not even I have a working that can undo the damn past. I don't. No spiritual worker that I know of, legitimate one, has a working that can undo the past. We can mold the present. 
We can shape the future, but we can't undo the past. So why are y'all living there so often and so much, dwelling on something that no one can change? Why? So I want to give y'all the working that you guys can do. Because I know right now everybody is afraid. They're, they're scared. You know, there's, um, you know, there's so much going on right now. People are lonely. People have lost their jobs. People don't, you know, people are on unemployment, don't know if they have a job to go back to. I, I get it. This is a time we need to focus on what is right in front of us and what we need to do in the future. That's why our readings are so important. That allows us to see what we need to be doing going forward as opposed to looking back at yesterday that can't nobody change. So this video is going to be part working. I'm going to keep it short because y'all said in the comment section, y'all love my short videos. I'm going to keep this short. This is going to be part Bible study and part working because I'm, I'm, I'm going to give out a working to you guys. And I'm going to start right now. Like all who do, the working is going to come from the Bible. It's going to come from the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verses 22 through 32. And I'm going to read it to you. This is the Bible study part, and I'm going to explain it to you. And then we're going to get into the working. How about that? Oh, and thank y'all so much for noticing that I've lost weight. Yes, um, shoot, hold on. I got I to gotta show y'all. Look, your boy is down... Um, 30 pounds, 30 something pounds, all right, because I lost almost 40, but then I gained a few back. But yeah, your boy is down almost 30 pounds. Look, look the beard is looking good. I'm, I'm shea, butter, shea buttered up. I'm fresh out the shower, y'all. I'm sitting here smelling like shea butter and frankincense. Shoot, I'm cock locked and ready to rock. Let's do this. I just want to thank y'all for noticing this hard work. Um, shout out to um, Sister A Day. The black carnivore for hipping me to the carnivore diet because the carnivore diet is what allowed me to lose this much weight and i feel good my asthma is better i'm feeling great looking good too if i do say so myself anyway the book of ephesians chapter 4 verses 22 through 32 says and remember keep in mind as i read this we're talking about letting go of the past you know, we always say, I'm my own worst enemy. Well, we shouldn't be. I shouldn't be my own worst enemy. I should be my own best friend. I should be my own greatest and grandest cheerleader outside of my mama. But a lot of times we beat ourselves up over choices we make, and I understand why, because that is how God speaks to us through our choices. See, our choices, the gift of free will, is how God allows us to do away with the workings of demons, to do away with the workings of of the enemy through our choices. Listen to that still small voice. We got the angel on this shoulder and the devil on this shoulder. Well, a lot of times we'll be like, all right, devil, let's pick up what we left off. No, we gotta listen over here, even though it may not be easy. A lot of times it's not easy. When you have a broken heart and you are sad and you are lonely, it's not easy to look over there and the angel says, listen, you are perfect. You were made whole. Because see, Hollywood wants to tell us all the time. Hollywood says, well, you know, what was that? What was that movie? Jerry, Jerry Maguire. Where he was like, you complete me. No one can complete you. You were born whole. But somewhere along the line, we give that up. And then we start looking for it in another person. It's all a matter of choices. We gave up a part of ourselves through the choices we made in the past. Then we start looking for somebody else with the other part of that in the future. No, just reclaim yourself. So I want you to use your brain meats and listen about getting rid of the past in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 22 through 32, that says that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man and woman. The former conversation of the old man, the old you. Which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, 
Speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole seek no more. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that need it. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Now, let me go back. Gotta scratch my back because this fire getting a little hot on this chair. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> but let's go back and go through this. Let's start at verse 22. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22. And we're going to go all the way to 32. And I'm going to break it down for you. This part Bible study, and then we're going to go into the working. Verse 22 says, That ye put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. You got to put away the old part of you. The old man. The old woman. You got to put that part of you away that was corrupt according to your deceitful lust. And we all have deceitful lust sometimes. Lust after money that we didn't earn. Lust after a man or a woman that we didn't like that we can't afford or that we cannot provide for. Men that we can't provide for that woman. You don't deserve her. You can't provide for her. women. If you can't doggone uplift that man, you don't, you don't deserve him. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. The mind needs renewing, so you're not all constantly overthinking things. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. You have to embrace the new you, the, the present you and the future you. Put away the past, embrace the present and the future. The new man, the new woman that was created in God's image with our holy God spark that we all have. That's what powers the hoodoo. That's what powers the root work. That's what powers the conjuration, the voodoo, the Apollo. It's not just the spirits. I know society says that the answer to everything is outside of you. No, the answer is right here in you. That God spark, your battery, or as we say down here in Southern hoodoo, your battery. That you got inside of you. Some of us got bigger batteries than others, but we all got a battery. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. We have to embrace one another and speak the truth, whether they like it or not. Speak the truth. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. How many times, let not the sun go down upon your wrath. How many times have we been in a relationship, had a boss, a supervisor, a friend that we had something here locked in the, in the dog bone, in our breastbone, locked in the bony box with the ivory locks. My traveling men understood that. But we didn't speak it and the sun went down and we were angry and that created bitterness against that person. Neither give place to the devil. Don't let him in there. Let him that stole steal no more. Well, that's easy. Stop, stop taking. But it's not just physical stealing. Don't burglarize people, obviously. But don't steal people's time if you know you don't really want them. Don't steal people's emotions. Don't steal, you know, don't ask from your family things that you know you already have. Some of y'all got family members out there with an iPhone 5C and you rocking a 12 and you borrow money from them that you know you're not going to pay back. Stop. But rather, let him labor. Don't steal. Work for it. Working with his hands, the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth. Our blessings will come back. If you listen to the angel over here, 
or the good part of your spirit, the good part of you, and you sow, you will reap. If you labor with your hands, you will have to give to somebody else. The best way to receive a blessing is to be a blessing. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying. Edifying means building. That it may minister grace unto the hearers. You know, a lot of folks love the tea. Y'all love to hear the tea. And then you spread the tea. But spreading the tea, is that building? Or is it tearing down? I hate the fact that in our community, in the spiritual community, in the black community, we love to spread tea to tear somebody else down. But what are we saying to build somebody up? Case in point, guys. Um, two days ago, I went up to the Walgreens, and I can walk to the Walgreens from my house in five minutes. Some of y'all that have got readings from me, I've been on the phone with you guys and walked up to the Walgreens after the reading was over. And two days ago, there was a young brother. He's 17 years old. And, and you know what? And I have to put his information up here because he has um, a little link for trading stocks. 17 trading stocks. But you know what I did? Um, I knew the store manager of that store because I've been living here in Hoodoo Central for a minute. And I told her, I said, this young brother right here is one of the best employees in this store. He's never on his phone. He like he never curses. Um, the, the customers know him by name. They love him. Shout out to you, Owen. You know, they, they love him. And she said, you know what? Yes, he's great. But I use my words to edify, to help build that brother up. A lot of us use our words to tear somebody else down. We got to stop that. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. I mean, look, use your malice and put all the other stuff away. Look, take your malice, your anger, your bitterness, your wrath, your clamor, your evil speaking, put it away. And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, hath forgiven you. So we read through it. We walked through it. Let's get to this work. So for this work, you are going to need, and now hold on. Of course, a piece of brown paper, a writing utensil, and some regular salt. Some regular salt. Y'all like, Prophet, why is your salt in that? Because, you know, I leave my cooking salt in one place and my working salt in another place. And what you'll do is you will write all the things, the people, the situations that you need to do away with on this piece of paper. You write it on there. Write your name first. And, you know, I can't see you guys, so I don't know if y'all can see this because I forgot to turn the doggone thing around. There, there it is. Now I can see y'all. So you see, I got Prophet Lou right there. It might be backwards to you. But you put away, you know, right now, things like pride. That's a problem that I have. I'm doing this work live with you guys. You might write down, um, um, shoot, lack of wealth. Because I, you know, I pay my bills, but I'm not wealthy. I'm like a wealth. Put down um, like overly emotional. Because y'all think I'm mean. Those of y'all who actually know me know I'm extremely emotional. I'm a big teddy bear. I'll cry on y'all ass in a minute. <laughs> and write down everything that you want to put there. And then you take your salt. It can be iodized salt, sea salt, Himalayan salt, because I know y'all going to ask me this. Hold on. It's a two-hand operation here. Luckily, I have, I have them. But if you don't, then ask for some help. It's fine. I generally put three 
um, three pinches in there. All right. That'll look like that. And then you fold it up. You want it to be sealed tight, sealed shut. Now, I know some of y'all are like, well, Prophet, why do you have that fire behind you? <laughs> oh, glad you, glad you asked. Because, see, we are going to feed it to the fire. That's why I have, you know, that's why I started the video with my broke tongs, because I was mad. You know, you know, you know, have your tongs here, and then you feed that to the fire. Because, see, fire doesn't just dispose of workings. It also cleanses. See, we want to be cleansed of these things. We want to be cleansed of the past. We want to be cleansed of things that we cannot let go of. So, you feed it to the fire. And I know some of y'all are like, whoa, prophet, you can... I thought I had to throw everything at the crossroads. Let me use this moment to teach you guys. Not every working goes to the GD crossroads. I know y'all like, I thought I just used my workings and put them in the crossroads. Absolutely not. You know why? There's a spirit that lives at the crossroads, guys. Use your brain meats. There's a spirit that lives at the crossroads. So how would you feel if people you didn't know, people you didn't know, Kept throwing their trash, their leftover workings at your house. Build a connection with that spirit before you start dumping everything at the crossroads. I just gave y'all a secret. So I know we went over that scripture. That's the scripture that you would pray as you feed all the things you want to get away, get away from, leaving the past to the fire. See the burn. And I'll put some more logs on the fire. But anyway, I hope, I hope that this helped you guys. I hope that it, it um will help you guys to do, you know, some things to let go of the past. Because guys, we all are living in 2020. 2020 is a common community shared past that we all need to let go of. Unless y'all, some of y'all got married or something like that. You want to keep that. But, you know, the bad parts of 2020, let it go. All right? But thank y'all for tuning in. I see we're at 22 minutes. I got to keep this video short. Thank y'all so much. I love you guys. I'm still doing the reading special. Go to www.thebrokenones.org. Again, I'm going to try to put it right here. Um, and I accept Cash App, Venmo. Those are the only two things. Cash App or Venmo. I accept those two. And um, right now we're running a special on the reading. So if you look at the prices and you get sticker shop, right now we're running a special on 40% off. And if you book a working after that, then um, we'll take the price of the reading off of the working. Because, guys, remember I said, I'm about to retire. So you want your love spells and, and all them other spells, you better come on in. All right? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Now, nah, I know it's Sunday. Come on in. Say, come on in. Bring your friend. And come on in. Now, nah, come on in. I said, we wait to know you. Who to come on in? I say we wait to know you. Who to come on in? And come on in. Grab your friend and come on in now. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Yep, that's burning good. All right, y'all have a good one. And listen, you don't have to burn the fireplace. You can put it in the charcoal. You can just put it like, just burn it. Just burn this working, and you'll be good to go. And let's go into the future. Let's focus on our present, go into the future with a renewed mind and spirit. Y'all have a good one. God bless. Love you guys.